Which fast food burger looks most like its advertisement? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Bad news, y'all. Farmersonly.com ain't the only place where photos look a little too good to be true, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, get ready for this seamless segue because fast food commercials and advertisements are also guilty of enhancing appearances of their burgers. So, in the spirit of competition, we're gonna see which fast food chain's advertisements look most like the real thing and which one is the biggest liar. It's time for Ad Boys, Ad Boys, Burger Edition. Okay, we have put on our bluish burger judging blazers. Mm-hmm, because we mean business. Yes. And we're gonna judge what some of the most iconic fast food burgers look like in reality versus what they look like in the ads. And for quality control, we visited three different restaurant locations for each chain because, you know, you can't guarantee that every spot's gonna be the winner, winner, bovine dinner. No. Okay, so in each round, we're gonna select one burger from our sample size of three that is most closely representative of the ad burger, and that one will move on to a competition against the other chains in the other rounds to determine which chain has the best ad-like burger. Yes, and first up, the Big Mac. Mickey D's debuted this burger in 1967 with two all beef patty special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame seed bun, mm. and it hasn't changed much since. So here's an outdoor ad for McDonald's restaurants in the UK that suggests the Big Mac was the best burger since the dawn of time. Oh, I get it. You search by over there, this is what you get. You get Big Mac, followed uh, by Big Bang. Every, every time I see a Big Mac in an ad, I want to eat the Big Mac. It is so effective. I mean, if you look at you look at this one, that's a weak one. I mean, that's a runt of the I mean, it's, right it's there. A, there's a lot of bread showing in this one. I mean, look that one angle. I that's mean, bread only. <laughs> look at that. You would just think I got a stack of bread. I mean, do you even need to 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 compare that one? Nope. Look at that. It looks like a freaking egg along. muffin. Moving along. All right. Okay. So then this one right here. Yeah. And you know, I'll, I'll do a little restacking. Ain't nothing wrong with that, is there? Well, well, I guess not. Okay. I how, that, how does that go? That well, I'm, what? Because this one right here, that's a that one that you're touching right now is clearly the best one of this pack. Put put that one up here. Yeah, this one this one's not as good. Put the good. In All right. Up so here. here here's our our best contender. Throw it over there. And by the way, I do not think that restacking is allowed because yeah, you're right. You're not the employee. This was stacked. So do some positioning there. Positioning is okay though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now if I was just to do this, you'd be like, that's not bad. I see all the ingredients. Bring up the glove. And you come up here and you're like, yeah. what? <laughs> what? But, but still, that's a problem the best Big Mac. here. Now, just so you realize, as we learned when we did fancy fast food a while back, cheese is only on the bottom floor of a Big Mac. If you want cheese on the top floor, you got to ax for it and they will charge you for it. Yep. But then I, you'll be happier for it. I do not see any pickles. I do not see any sauce creeping out and saying, hello, I'm sauce. And I do not see the burger at all. Yeah, but that is definitely the best one. It moves on. Next up, we got Big Mac's arch nemesis, the Whopper. Boy, that looks good, look at that. But mm. that's just an ad. And this ad is from the Twitter account from Burger King Turkey. Now we put the text in I follow that already. Google and it translated it into how many people can make a Whopper happy? Which we can only assume is Turkish for have it your way. I, uh, I don't know, hold on, that sounds like a deep existential question. How many people how many can, people make, can a make a Whopper happy? And see the thing. I have that, no idea. The thing with the Whopper is by default it has no cheese, which is just, I don't. It's sad, I you should get a Whopper with cheese, but we I didn't. don't get it, all right. Let's look at what we got. Let's see how close we got. Look at wow these Wow, we boy. <laughs> the flatness is happening big time. Now, okay. That for, one right there just Look looks, at that onion ring just like. <laughs> well, at least and, it's and like, at, hey, I've got onions. And look at, and, I mean, and this is like, hey, I got a tomato. This one's like, hey, well, I guess it just says. I got a, a peak of an onion. A peak of an onion, but nothing else. See, now, this one. Spin around, see if it's got a better angle. This one's the most boring one. Spin around, see what the back looks oh, like. Look oh, look at that. Hey, I got a little nasty lettuce. <laughs> And then I'm just a bread bomb. Okay, now, okay, so, so let's we, get rid of that. We gotta let's get rid of that one. Yeah. So this one, hey, we got some tomato got some spillage. Tomato. tomato spillage. Oh gosh, look oh, at that. Oh, well, that is so sad. That is, Are you telling me the one with the, the onion that's just hanging on for dear life is going to win? <laughs> I mean, the, these, these cheeks are just pooching together so much. 
Yeah, I, well, there's some onion. Do a full full rotation of the of the crazy onion one. Okay, <laughs> crazy onion, crazy onion, mayo. Hey, that's a pretty good line right there. Look at that. Right there. That's not a bad line. Hey, I mean, you can't it. see the tomato. You do, you do a complete rotation over here next to that one. If we're thinking that's the one. This is now the onion. Is, the best onion tonight. is sort of doing its own thing at this point. <laughs> but I got to say that this is very flat. But I'm seeing that it's got mayonnaise. I'm seeing that it's got lettuce. Rotate And I'm seeing that it's got an onion. And it's a pretty flat line. And at oh it, no point, it almost worse. touches, and but then it says lettuce time. Right when you think it's about to be all bread, you're reminded that there's also lettuce on this burger. <laughs> and then you come back around here. Again, no evidence of tomatoes or pickles or even ketchup or any other sauces besides uh, the, is that a is Whopper mayonnaise on top or is that a special sauce? That's mayonnaise, right? I mean, if. It's mayonnaise, yeah, and they put a lot of mayonnaise. I mean, even if I tried to stack two Whoppers, it's it's not that much, it's about the right height. I mean, it's a little more, but. But sadly, I think that this is the best that Burger King has to offer. Okay, introduced in 2007, the Wendy's Baconator is Ooh. made of two fresh, never frozen four ounce beef patties, two slices of American cheese, six strips of bacon, mayonnaise, and ketchup. And this ad came from an American Wendy's campaign convincing consumers to not only eat a huge bacon burger, but also official Baconator fries to complete the meal. Okay. Look at this thing. America really knows how to out America itself. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but that looks good, man. This is a good burger. I've I had mean, it a few times, and every time I'm reminded, like, man, this seems wrong, but it feels so right. Behemoth. It's so tall. And let's see what reality has given us. Okay. Well, I will say that this one right I'm, here. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. Looks pretty good. Right off the bat, because I'm seeing every ingredient that it promises. Yeah, it's all hanging out. Peeking out, out there. Oh, and look at that. There's a. There's a. There's that's a sl the slender slender angle. That's not as good. Not, Let's not, go back to bad. this. Yeah, so that bad. that's a good shot right that's there. That's looking pretty good. Do a but quick then... rotation of these other two. See where they stand. Oh no, no. Mm -mm, Ooh, that's mm -mm, ugly. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, There's a little teeny mm -mm, bit of bacon. I don't see much cheese. Gosh, that is sadness. All right, so let's get. And rid also, of that. they line the corners up. You can't do that. You have to do corner. Aren't you supposed to do corner? Caddy offset? corner. Caddy corner. Well, this one's got. I mean, it's got a whole thing is just flopping off. Yeah, well, we'll ignore that for now. It smells good. I will tell them that. Tell them it smells good. All right, uh, so and this one to here, could this one be nah, better? There's no way. This one's definitely. Well, look at that. Yeah. No. But, but let's just get some get all angles of this thing. Again, I see both. I see all the ingredients coming out and saying, "Hello, I'm here to play in your mouth." And then, uh, I mean, look that bacon. I mean, whoa, look. Good it's like a beef, gosh. a beef hernia. <laughs> oh no! Don't 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 talk about hernias when you talk about food, man. I take a bite of that right there, though. I mean, that's not that's not oh, horrible. That, that's oh okay. A, yeah, go like right there. A little further. About right there. A little, no other way. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, there, because you get the peak of it. You get bacon on both sides. Oh, look at that. Right oh, there, you see? got a little bacon skirt yeah, coming on both yeah, sides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that definitely moves on. That's not bad at all. And now we got Carl's Jr., or as we know it, Hardy's famous star. And the ingredients include a char broiled all beef patty, melted American cheese, lettuce, tomato, sliced onions, dill pickles, special sauce that looks like ketchup and mayo on a seeded bun. Mm. And this ad is for a limited time $3.90 famous star burger with cheese. $3.90? I'm sorry to report that promotion is over. Oh, crap. You know, I get excited. I now, was just so excited. The food style in this thing is just, it's out of this world. I mean, that's too much to expect. You got that little triangle of cheese just flopping over right in between the onion crevice. It's, I mean, it's, it's like I kind of feel like it's a little too on the crevice, if you know what I mean. Yeah. I kind of feel like you don't want your cheese point to go into your onion crevice. Right, right. <laughs> Especially when somebody's watching. <laughs> All right, let, let, let's see what reality has dealt us here. Oh my gosh. Everything's flatter in real life. Well, th things flatten out. That's what, Listen, it's entropy. If you know anything it's at like our the age, universe. it's that gravity always wins. Trust me. Uh, well, let's get a little rotation here. I mean, we got it. That's bad. These look like That's twins, bad. like triplets that nobody wants okay. to date. <laughs> <laughs> so look at that. Ah oh, man! So there's that one. That's okay. the best. That's the best spot. Oh, there's some oh, I see that. So I, I like the sauce. evidence of sauce. Evidence of sauce is one of my favorite things in the world. It's also a very good crime television show. <laughs> and you know what? That was pretty consistent as you turned it. 
I like that right Pretty there. Pretty consistent. I mean, this thing's got lettuce mayhem. I'm not, I'm not feeling, I'm, let's get rid of this one. All right, get rid well, of it. Hold on, there's a lot of lettuce in that picture though. Yeah. But it looks way different. This lettuce is white. Is there cheese in a crevice? At least this lettuce is green. Now, I got a surprise for you because this starts out pretty, 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 pretty lettuce. Hold Whoa. on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got, all, hold Look on. at that. Now, it's, we're it's, getting a, a similar color combo yeah. to what we've got in the picture. And look at that cheese corner. That cheese corner's coming out and trying to get in somebody's crevice. Put that over there. Look at that. That's the one. I mean, it's a messy burger, but look, we, we've got all the ingredients. That, I don't oh, really dang. see the, uh, no, I even see the onion down there. Look at that onion. Where onion. is it? What side is my finger on? Down in there. Got onion down in there. What? What? What is that right That's there? That's a cheese and beef. Is that a is water that a, slide? Is that another beef hernia? Uh, yeah, there's some herniage going on in there, but <laughs> oh, sadly, this is the best that Carl's Jr. has to offer. Moves on. All right, now we've got the best of the burger batches uh -huh. for the real competition. Which restaurant has the best looking burger according to their ads? We got the double quadrant configuration here and as we look closely, let, let's start with what we think is the worst. Let's just go ahead and place that at the bottom. Now, I mean the Big Mac. The that, Big Mac has the, a the nice top, bottom. The top burger, I don't even know if it's there. I love that bottom on the Big Mac. But you're right, the, the Whopper, I mean, the Carl's Jr. is all over the place. But the but thing about the Carl's got, Jr., it's got all the ingredients. <clears throat> it's got everything that is in the picture. It's just it and purdy. The Whopper is an utter disappointment. The, I mean. The, the difference between what the Whopper promises in the ad and what the Whopper gives you in reality. Kind of like your first year of marriage. Yeah, exactly. Huge, <laughs> huge disappointment. And that was from my wife's perspective, not from my perspective. Right, you know what I'm talking just about. Just to be clear, so, put that in the, uh, in the bottom. Yeah, so Whopper, man. Sorry, Burger maybe if, King. Maybe if you put cheese on all of them by default, it'd be different. Probably not though. All right. Now, what's the next worst? <laughs> because well, listen, the Big Mac's nice on the bottom, but it's just like not a lot happening up top. You yeah, know what I'm saying? I, I, I think it's the, the foundation is great and then it gets canceled out because you're like, oh gosh, the burger's invisible. It's like one of those houses that they started to build and then they stopped because they ran out of money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're like, ah, okay, is anybody gonna ever move in there on the corner? I don't think so. I mean, the Carl Jr. is is ugly, but like you said, it's all there. Yeah, you can't even see beef on the second story. I think that's a problem. We're yeah. going Throw second it worst for the Big Mac. Now, we haven't talked about the Baconator yet because, I mean, it's, it's not nearly as tall. Oh, you gotta throw that over there? Okay, yeah. there you go, brother. I mean, the stackage of that ad is just, it's its unattainable. There's toothpicks all in that thing. Some food stylist like blew their budget on, to, yeah, I don't real. know, some sort of. You wouldn't want to eat that. You would you would die if you ate this. It's got so much support built in. It's actually good that it doesn't look like the ad. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, but here's the thing about this burger in real life, and, and I don't know how to interpret the, this, but the fact that the Baconator isn't trying so many things with so many ingredients, the fact that it isn't, doesn't have any, there's no vegetables. It's not even trying to have vegetables. Yeah. And so there's not a whole That's lot smart. that can go wrong. It's kind of the squished version of what you see here. This is the Carl's showing Jr. everything, but I'm not appetized by that much lettuce. It's like the ad went through an earthquake. You know what I'm saying? Right. But it does have a cheese wedge, and I, I got to acknowledge that wedge is it's nestled into some sort of darkness, and I do like that. But I think it's clear. You grab that one, I'll grab this one, and here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, according to us, the most ad worthy burger is the Baconator from Wendy's. There you have it, it's definitive. Man, and now, everybody, <laughs> go Wendy's. Everybody's running out to get a Baconator now. You're welcome, Wendy. I'm gonna eat that one. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Robin, and we just got done doing a fast food taste test on my Good Mythical birthday. And it's time to spin the Wheel of Mythicality. Good Mythical Birthday! Yeah, girl! All right, click the top link to watch us get, guess some really stupid fast food mascots and see if they're real in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Wheel of Mythicality is gonna land. It's our classiest design yet. The GMM Heritage Long Sleeve is available now at mythical.com.